Hi guys, welcome to the jungle. It has actually been a really, really wet week. I said last week I couldn't see it happening, but it definitely has rained an awful lot. It looks like it's gonna thunder now. It's gone, well, half of the sky is really sunny and half is really dark. They've given out a lot of thunder though, so kind of expecting that to happen. Um, but I have got quite a lot done this week. I just haven't been able to film it because I've actually done most of it in the rain. And it hasn't been unpleasant because it's been so humid. The rain's been quite refreshing. They're just cutting the grass around here, so I'm gonna put the camera down, but I I want to show you my strawberries today. Oh, I should possibly say what's left of my strawberries. It looks like something has had a really good going over of these and actually the whole patch is very similar. Like all of the red ones are looking so hollow. And they did put a net across it, but it like dips down in the middle and everything's a bit flattened there. So it looks like even something might have sat on it. At first I thought it was slugs, but they so much has been eaten, it possibly might be mice as well. I'm just really surprised because last year we didn't have any trouble with the strawberries, so it just wasn't something that I thought would be um, an issue at all. And I'm absolutely gutted because strawberries, everybody loves strawberries, they're like one of my favourite things. I think we're still, there's still a lot of green ones on there and there, there are a few that haven't been eaten. I've also got strawberries dotted about, there's some up in the long grass next to the greenhouse and I've got some in growing like hanging bags at home as well. So I have got a lot of strawberries in different places so hopefully I do get a harvest but yeah I feel pretty rubbish about that because I love strawberries but in good news I have got um, some raspberries that are turning red they're not quite as good as strawberries but they are pretty good <laughs> so these are my first couple of raspberries and as you can see there are loads more to come on there this um, bush is just heaving with them there's going to be absolutely loads and if I take you up and over we've got a little bit more going on over there too let's have a look that sky does not look good so this is what I've been doing this week in the rain. Um, my chickpeas, I split a bag of chickpea, um, chickpeas <laughs> with my mum and she grew half and my half didn't do anything. They didn't even like break through the soil but her plants had really grown up and um, she's kind of busy with work at the moment so she gave them to me which is so sweet. So I've managed to plant them all out here. I've never grown chickpeas before or even seen them growing but this is what they look like and um, yeah, apparently you don't get like a massive crop on them, so you need quite a few. Um, each pod only get you get two chickpeas in it, and I, I think they get take up quite a lot of space, they get quite bushy. But I'm really excited to see what they go like, because we do actually buy quite a lot of chickpeas, and to have my own organic ones will be really good. And I've also planted out this week the sweet corn. I haven't quite got the Three Sisters thing going completely, but I have managed to get all of the sweet corn into the ground. There's even some stray strawberries along the edge of this patch. So this is the sweet corn that's out here. And then the second lot of sweet corn was quite a bit smaller. So I put that into the plastic pots at the back. I'm quite happy with these. These are one thing that I've got quite high hopes for this year. I'd really like to get a lot of sweet corn. So I hope they do well out here. And I've got the French beans to go up them. Oh, that's thunder guys. Can you hear it? Let's be quick. Everything else out here you've seen, the broad beans, these are the second lot, they're poking through but I don't know, they just don't look as bulky as some of the peoples that I've seen. And there are peas coming through there, um, these are loganberries in the pots. I brought them up here because I kept forgetting to water them, so I brought them up for when I was watering the tomatoes, but I haven't really needed to water out here. These are my outdoor tomatoes. So this is some of the long grass outside the greenhouse and as you can see there are actually quite a few strawberries in here so I don't think I'm going to be totally starved of strawberries this year. It might just be that I don't have enough for jam. Mm. <laughs> so I'm in the greenhouse now because I don't know if you heard that thunder but I don't think we've got very long. I'll just give you a quick update in the greenhouse. I am ready to run home. I am um, I haven't actually filmed myself like planting out the chickpeas or the sweet corn this week just because I have done it in the rain and I don't really want to have the, the camera out in the rain. Likewise, I, I don't want to get wet right now. But I also had an afternoon, a really nice afternoon at a garden centre this week and bought lots of grow bags because um, the soil in the greenhouse, it just, just isn't it up to much and um, I didn't get a chance to get it weeded properly. The straw, the not strawberries, what are they, tomatoes, they were um, ready to go out so I needed somewhere to put them. I put half outside as you know and the other half they are still in here and now they're in grow bags. And each grow bag going across here has got um, a different variety in them so it will be interesting to see how they do. This is my cucumber, not a lot to see here, a massive slug ate the whole lot. 
looks are definitely a problem this year so that's why i covered it all with the eggshells kind of annoyed about that but i have got so um i can't remember what anything's called today i have got cucumbers the market more cucumbers outside so it's it's not the not the end of the world on that one i'm gonna wrap it up here guys because i'm just so conscious of it like thundering and, and having to dash off but i am going to um bbc gardeners world live on thursday and i will be vlogging from there so if you um want to watch that come back on thursday it will probably be late on because usually i edit the vlogs and upload them once i get home so i'm gonna say because i don't know what time it'll be but it'll be late on on thursday the video from my day out there and i'm thinking i might be able to buy a few like small plants um because some of my seeds haven't done that well but can go out and they also have like loads of talks and things on so it should be a good day gardening wise and of course it's attached to the bbc good food show which i absolutely love so i'll see you again on thursday guys thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>